Hi, Susan Sweeney here, and today I'm going to talk about podcasting for realtors. What are podcasts? Podcast, the term comes from iPod and broadcast. It's basically an audio file or it's a video file, uh, something that has great content but can be delivered it's, uh, over the web. Now, why do you want to do podcasts uh, as opposed to having just a video on your website? Well, people want to be able to access and listen to and view the information that they want, when they want, how they want. People are being very, very demanding these days. And although they might go to your website and they might see that you've got an audio file on, oh, maybe preparing your house for sale, preparing your house for an open house, um, they might not want to access that information then and there on your website. They might not want to sit and listen to that for 12 minutes or however long that podcast is, but they do want the information. So the customer is king these days, so what you need to do is provide them with all of the content in the format that they want so that they can access the information when they want, how they want, where they want. So a podcast, can there are all kinds of different types of content that you can have in that podcast, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But what you want to do is, anytime you develop a podcast or a vidcast, what you'll do is you'll make it available so that people can listen to it on your website, if that's how they choose, but make it very, very easy for them to be able to download that file to their own computer. That way, they can listen to it on their own computer when they're not online. They can listen to it whenever they want. You see, also, if they can download it to their computer, they can just move that file over to their MP3 player, to their iPod or their Nano, to their cell phone, um, to any other device that will play that audio or video file. That makes it very easy for them to be able to listen to what they want, when they want, where they want. So as an example, it might be that I'm, I'm selling my house and I'm going to have an open house this weekend, but, you know, I'm very busy. I don't have time to sit in front of the computer while I'm at my office to listen to that 12-minute file, 12-minute soundbite. So what I can do is download it to my computer, move it over to my iPod, and while I'm taking the subway home that evening, I can be listening to uh, what I've got to do to prepare my house for the open house. So there are all kinds of content, but it's very important that you make the information accessible and easy for people to be able to listen to or view the content that they're interested in when they want, where they want. So let's just take a look at what type of content, because there's so many podcasts uh, that you can put on your website. So think about your target market. What information do they want? What would they consider valuable? What would they go back to your website week after week after week to get access to? So it might be things like uh, amenities in a particular development uh, that, that you're representing. It might be information in your particular area on schools or shopping or entertainment. It might be information on the golf courses that are close by um, for anybody who's coming in from out of town to buy. It might be information on housing trends or mortgage trends. There are all kinds of great information that you can provide in this type of format on your website. It might be tips on getting your house ready for the market. It might be getting your house ready for an open house. It could even be testimonials of people that have used your services in the past and just to have them uh, rave about what fabulous service you provided. So there are all kinds of different types of content that you can put in a podcast format. So let's just say that you've determined uh, the podcast, the type of podcast that you want to develop. Very important that you develop these podcasts on a regular basis because what you want to have happen is you want these podcasts to be the repeat traffic generator on your website. You want to be continually providing these podcasts to get people to come back and visit your website. Now with the podcasts, you can do them a number of different ways. You can just take a, if it's going to be an audio file, you can just take a digital recorder and you can record it yourself and put it up on your website. You can also go and have a professional podcast done. What you can do is you can give the text to a professional and have them record it and then put some music maybe at the front and the back and, and have it a real polished professional podcast. You know, either is acceptable on the web these days. It just depends on the image that you want to portray and how, how uh, fast you want to be able to provide it to the uh, visitors to your website. So with the podcast, develop uh, a number of them. 
provide them on an ongoing basis through your website. I mean, you can develop 52 of them in a matter of two days. And then what you do is you just release them one a week to your website. You don't have to develop them and release them immediately. So you can have a plan for these podcasts on your website. They can be used as your repeat traffic generator. Podcasts are also great to leverage with permission marketing and viral marketing. With, with the podcast on your website, let people know that they can give you permission and you'll send them the podcast every single week or have the viral marketing. Tell a friend about this podcast. Uh, so what you want to do is just make it very easy for people to be able to uh, sign up to receive them. You can also use the RSS feed. Have the RSS feed on your website on the page that you've got your podcasts, and that enables people to subscribe. They'll be notified every time you add a new podcast to that particular page of your website. And again, you know, you want to leverage, leverage, leverage. Do something once and benefit from it a gazillion times. So if you develop a podcast, think about having it available on your website. But think about what other sites are your target markets visiting um, where you can get some good exposure. It might be moving company sites. It might be, um, you know, cleaner sites. It might be the developer, the developer site. So think about what other sites this content would be great and valuable, going to give you some good exposure to people that you otherwise didn't have access to. Think about every podcast you've got, put it up in the podcast directories. There are all kinds of podcast directories where people go to try and find specific type of information. They could go to a podcast directory to look for preparing for an open house. There's your podcast. Now they've got access uh, to you, your brand. Um, put those podcasts up on YouTube. Um, you know, then what you can do is as well, go out to your mail list and let the provide a link out to you on YouTube. Uh, there are all kinds of ways to use these podcasts. But anything that you do on the web, think about how you can develop it once and use it a gazillion times.